Hi all, in this video I am going to explain per unit using one problem. Problem number 1. The one line diagram of a power system is shown in figure. Select the common base of 100 MBA and 22 K on the generator side. Draw an impedance diagram with all impedance including load impedance marked in per unit. The manufacturer data for each device is given below. G is equal to 90 MVA, 22 KV and X is equal to 18 percentage. T1 equal to 50 MVA, 22 bar 220 KV, X is equal to 10 percentage. T2 equal to 40 MVA, 220 bar 11 KV, X is equal to 6 percentage. T3 equal to 40 MBA, 22 bar 110 KV, X is equal to 6.4 percentage. T4 equal to 40 MBA, 110 bar 11 KV, X is equal to 8 percentage. M equal to 66.5 MBA, 10.45 KV, X is equal to 18.5 percentage. The three phase loaded bus 4 up saw 57 MBA 0.6 power factor lagging at 10.45 kV. Line 1 and line 2 have reactants of 48.4 and 65.43 ohm respectively. Okay, step number 1. What is the step number 1? First of all, step number 1. Common base 100 MBA. Step number 2 is, voltage bases must be determined for all section of the network. There are totally 6 numbers of sections are there. So define the voltage base for all section. So first what is the section number 1? VB1 that is given that is on the generator side the voltage is 22 kV. So VB1 is already given. So next find out the value VB2. So VB2 is the voltage in the section 2. So that is equal to VB2. VB2 is the base voltage on the base voltage on the low voltage side. Base voltage in low voltage side into high voltage rating divided by low voltage rating. This is the formula used to find out VB2. So what is VB2? VB2 equal to base voltage on the low voltage side that is 22 kV. What is the high voltage rating for a transformer 1? High voltage rating is 220. 220 kV divided by the low voltage is 22 kV. Both are get cancelled and we get 220 kV. So 220 kV is the voltage for the line 1. So 220 kV. Here for the generator 22 kV. And next I am find out the value for VB3. VB3 and VB2 both are same. That is 220 kV. Next I am going to find out the value that is VB4. So what is VB4? The formula uses base voltage, base voltage on high voltage side. Base voltage on high voltage side in the low voltage rating divided by high voltage rating. So this is for transformer T2. So what is VB4? VB4 is base voltage on high voltage side is 220 kV. What is the low voltage rating for transformer 2? 11 kV. And high voltage is 22 to 20 kV. Both are get cancelled. VB4 is 11 kV. So on motor side the voltage is 11 kV. Here this is in the motor side. And next I am going to find out V5 and V6. 
so vb5 so what is vb5 vb5 that is equal to base voltage on low voltage side 22 kV and for the T3 what is T3 T3 is 22 by 110 kV so high voltage rating is 110 kV low voltage is 22 kV so both are get cancelled I get the answer 110 kV so that is equal to VB6 so all the base voltages as well as MBA bases are over. These all are the new MBA. These all are the new MBA and new KV value. Here this is 110 KV. Then step number 3. Find the ZPU new for all the components in the power system network. So first of all, I am going to find out ZPU new for generator, generator 1. So what is the formula generator, not generator, generator. Step number 3, I am going to find out ZPU new for all the components. First, I am going to find out ZPU new for generator. What is ZPU old? That is 0 0.18. What is KV volt? KV volt is 22. KV new also 22. Both are same. Square into what is MBA new? That is 100. What is MBA volt? MBA volt is 90. Okay, this is 0 0.02. The answer is G point two per unit. And next find out is that PU new for transformer one. What is the value for a transformer one? Second Find out ZPU new for transformer 1. For a transformer 1, 0 0.10 into what is the base? Old base is 22. New base is also 22. New MBA 100. Old MBA is 50. So find out the value. The answer is J. 0 0.2 per unit and next number 3 find out is that PU new for transformer 2 so what is the answer for a transformer 2 that is 0 0.06 in the what is the old KV for a transformer 2 old is 11 and what is the new KV? New also 11. In the old new MBA is 100. Old is 40. So the answer is J 0 0.15 per unit. And next four find out. Is that PU new for transformer 3? So for a transformer 3. 6.4 percentage 0 0.064 what is the old kv old kv is 22 new kv also 22 square old mba is 100 sorry new mba is 100 old is 40 so the answer is j 0 0.16 per unit and next fifth one, transformer 2, ZPU new for transformer 4, that is equal to 0 0.08, 8 percent 0 0.8 into 100 by 40, new by old, and what is the New KV, new KV in the motor side that is 11, 
hold also 11 the whole square that is equal to j0.2 per unit. Then find out ZPU nu for the motor. What is the value? 0 point for a motor is 195. In the what is the old KV? Old KV is 10.45. New KV is 11. The whole square. And what is the new MVA? That is 100 MVA. What is the old MVA? 66.5 MVA. That is equal to 0 0.25 per unit. So all the per units are over. Next find out Z per unit for the line 1. Line 1 means transmission line. That is equal to Z actual divided by Z base. Z actual, what is Z actual? The value is given. 48.4, that is Z actual. Z base is V square by P. Or P by V square. So what is P? P is 100. What is V? V is 220 square. The answer is 0 0.5. 1 0 per unit. In the similar manner, find out ZPU for line 2. That is equal to what is the ohm value given 65.43 into 100 by what is the voltage in the line 2? 110. KV. The answer is 0 0.54 per unit. So only one parameter is missing that is the load. Next I am going to find out the per unit of the load. So the load given is the power of the load given is 57 MVA the angle given is 0 0.6 power factor lagging. So cos inverse minus 0 0.6. Cos inverse minus 0 0.6. That is equal to 57 angle 53.13 degree MBA. And next find out load impedance in ohm. Actual load impedance. So, Z L equal to KV line to line square divided by S 3 pi. That is S means power. So, 10.45 square. The power is 57 angle minus 53.13 because star value that is the conjugate value that is equal to 1.1495 plus g 1.53267 ohm this is the Z base value sorry Z actual value Next I am going to find out. Next I am going to find out the base impedance of the load. Base impedance of the load is ZB equal to 11 square is the base voltage. And what is the MVA 100? 1.21 ohm. Therefore, the load impedance per unit. The load impedance in
per unit that is equal to 1.41495 plus j 1.5367267 divided by 1.21 that is equal to 0 0.95 plus j 1.2667 per unit. This is the load impedance in per unit. Next I am going to draw the per unit impedance diagram. Step number 4 is draw the per unit impedance diagram. First of all generator. How to represent the generator? Generator is represented as EG that is connected in series with the impedance that is J0.2. Then two, it, two divisions are there. The first division the transformer that is J0.2. Here also one transformer is there, J0.16. Our next transmission line is indicated by this, J0.10. And here also another one transmission line, J0.54. And then again transformer 2, J0.15. Again the transformer 4. J0.20 then here this is 1 and this one is 4 ok next connected to a motor so motor also how to represent this EM connected in series with the reactance and then it is connected to a load load is represented as one resistance and the impedance or reactance. Now connect all together. Put the value here J0.25. Here this is load 0.95 plus J1.2667. That's all. This is the per unit impedance diagram for the network given above. Thank you. Have a nice day.